guys. So let's now tap into how does Reiki heal? Let's continue. We are alive because life energy or ki is flowing through us. Ki flows within the physical body through pathways called chakras, meridians, and nadis, and can also be present and pass directly through the organs and tissues of the body. It also flows around us in a field of energy called the aura. Excuse me, guys. The free and balanced flow of healthy key is the cause of well-being. It is key that animates the physical organs and tissues as it flows through them. Key nourishes the organs and cells of the body, supporting them in their vital functions. When the flow of healthy key is disrupted, it causes diminished functioning within one or more of the organs and tissues of the physical body. Therefore, it is the disruption in the flow of healthy key that is the main cause of illnesses. Key is responsive to thoughts and feelings. When we have positive, optimistic thoughts, we increase our flow of key, and this causes us to feel better. However, when we have negative thoughts, our key is disrupted and diminished, and we do not feel good. When negative thoughts become lodged into the subconscious mind, they create a permanent disruption in the flow of healthy key. This happens when we either consciously or unconsciously accept negative thoughts or feelings about ourselves. Negative thoughts and feelings increase key and cause it to be come bayaki for unhealthy key. The bayaki then attaches itself to the organs and tissues of the body and also disrupts the flow of healthy key. The organs and tissues of the body can be affected depending on the location of the blockage. <clears throat> this diminishes the vital function of those organs and cells of the physical body, and unless the blockage is released, a person could eventually become ill. <clears throat> Excuse me. When a person receives Reiki sessions, the re or spiritually conscious part of the energy accesses where the person has bioki and then directs the healing energy, usually to the bioki that is, that is nearest the hands. However, sometimes it will go to the bioki that is most in need of healing, even if it is far from the hands. The Reiki energy then works with the negative thoughts and feelings that have created the bioki and are blocking one's flow of healthy ki and releases them with healthy thoughts and feelings, thus releasing the bioki. This can happen in a number of ways by flowing through the affected parts of the energy field and charging them with positive energy. Reiki raises the vibratory levels in and around the physical body where the negative thoughts and feelings are attached. This causes the negative energy to break apart and fall away. In so doing, Reiki clears, sh straightens, and heals the energy pathways, thus allowing healthy key to flow in a natural way. Sometimes the entire field of blockage, sometimes the entire field of blocking energy is lifted up to a higher level of consciousness where it is processed. Other times, it is melted away or burnt up. When a block is released, sometimes a person will feel a cold sensation and when it, when it is melted or burnt up, a hot sensation. Once, once healthy key is flowing naturally, the physical organs and tissues are able to complete their healing process. Let's continue with our lesson, the aura. The aura is a beautiful field of ever-changing energy patterns that completely surrounds all living things. The oval shape surrounding the figure, which you, which you see is right here. Okay. Ooh, sorry guys. The figure on the opposite page of what I just showed you have many layers, starting with the inner layer closer to 
I'm sorry. However, the aura is actually composed of many layers, starting with an inner layer closest and most and most often within the body and ending about four to five feet from the body. Even higher layers can exist further out than this. Each layer represents a different part of the person of the person's consciousness with the inner layer connected to the physical body, followed by higher layers associated with emotional, mental, spiritual levels of consciousness. The aura is created by all of your thoughts and feelings, both consciousness and unconscious, as well as the energies flowing through the physical body. Your state of health is reflected in the aura as well as affected by the condition of the aura. And in fact, many feel that the original cause of both illnesses and, and health is in the aura. Treating the aura with Reiki doing biosync scanning can be, a part, a, be an important part of your Reiki session. Let's continue. It is possible to become aware of your own aura by doing various exercises. Use of Reiki hand positions. And that is on another page. And we're not going to go into that page right now. We're going to continue by dropping down. Okay, guys? Let's continue. By energizing it with Reiki, your... Let's go back. So by clearing out your auric field, you're going to use certain hand gestures to help clear it, okay? And you have to be, what I want to say, initiated to receive that, but we'll talk about that on another note. Okay, so let's continue. By energizing it with Reiki, your aura will become stronger, making it easier, easier to feel. You can feel the auric field of others by using biocene scanning, which is explained on page 57. Biocene scanning is also a way to treat the aura. Some people are so sensitive they can actually see the auric field and practitioners who can see the aura often use this information to improve the quality of their work. I remember when I was in my Reiki session <laughs> and May Coach Bryce always be with me she passed away matter of fact four months after she certified me right um and she felt me she i didn't even know i could read energy at this time and she i remember when i went back to class the next day and she was like uh she had to move around because one of us could read her energy and come to find out it was me that could read her energy and yeah i thought it was <laughs> I thought it was so dope, <laughs> but I did not know that I could read her energy in any way. And she had to protect herself because she didn't know if I was going to do something towards her, which makes sense to why she had to move everybody and situate them in different positions. Because overall, I am a very strong Reiki healing practitioner. Uh, and I have been ordained to, to do this particular uh, calling here here. I am a very powerful shaman, and I'm just glad that she shared that information with me in spirit. So with that being said, guys, it is very possible. Let's continue. The chakras. The seven main chakras are represented by the flower-shaped images on the front of the page. The chakras are actually transformers by subtle energy. They take the key that is always around us and transform it into the various techniques or subtle energy system that needs to keep us healthy. The lowest, uh, the lowest or, or the lowest or root chakra brings in the lower frequencies that are needed for physical survival. And each higher chakra brings in higher energies such as those for healthy physical pleasure, expressing your will in the world, love of self and others, communication and creativity with the highest with the highest or crown chakra bringing in spiritual levels of energy. Each chakra corresponds with a layer of the aura. Negative feelings or thoughts can become lodged in the chakras, reducing the amount of subtle energy. They are able to provide and adversely affecting one's health. 
Although it was not a part of the original style of Reiki practiced